Wow, we just received the official numbers. There are currently 35,000 people here in Litzerat defending. This is unbelievable and thanks to all of you and of course to the organizers. I want to send a very special thank you for everyone being here today. You are the change and you are the hope. For decades, people have been warning about the consequences of our business as usual. People living on the front lines of the climate crisis, the most affected people in the most affected areas, and the science is very clear. The carbon needs to stay in the ground. We need to stop the current destruction of our planet and sacrificing people to benefit short-term economic growth and corporate greed. But the people in power have not been listening and this is ju just yet another example of that. How is this possible? In the year 2023, 20, how can we still be continuing down this path that we know leads us nowhere? How is that possible? How can we continue to sacrifice people just for these very, very few fortunate people to continue making unimaginable amounts of money? We continue expanding, we continue destroying our natural habitats and we continue to discriminate and oppress people. That the German governments are making deals and compromises with fossil fuel companies such as the RWE is shameful. It shows us exactly where we are. It shows us their priorities. It is not people. It is profits. Once again. But when governments and corporations fail like they are doing now, people are stepping up. You are stepping up. It shouldn't have to be that way. But yet, that is how we are. And this is a betrayal towards all present and future generations. The fact that all of you are here is a sign of hope. This is only a part of a much larger global climate movement. A movement for climate and social justice and racial justice. Litzerat, what, what happens in Litzerat doesn't stay in Litzerat. Germany, as one of the biggest polluters in the world, has an enormous responsibility. They need to be held accountable and that is why, that is why we are here. Similar things are happening all over the world and we need to make sure that those events also get this amount of attention. We need to to... Sorry. No, I we need to connect these struggles and we need to stand united and stand in solidarity. People all over the world are currently following what's happening here. And that is just another sign of how connected we are. We will continue to stand in solidarity and we continue the global fight for climate justice, for decolonization, for social justice and for racial justice. Woo! You are showing clearly today that the changes will not come from the people in power, from governments, from corporations, from the so-called leaders. No, the real leaders are here. It is the people who are sitting in tree houses and those who have been defending Lissolat, for example, for years now. So thank you to them and thank you to you. The carbon is still in the ground. We are still here. Litzerat is still there. And as long as the carbon is in the ground, this struggle is not over. We will... We are not planning to give up. When I say Litzi, you say Blight! Litzi! Litzi! When I say Litzi, you say Blight! Litzi!